What's up TTFF people? Welcome to the Tucson Family Food Project. My name is Steven Cotarobles. This week we're making a classic Mexican dish that many of you already know and love, calabacitas. Now calabacitas literally translates to little squash, and the squash we're using today, like all squash, can trace its origins to deep in the heart of Mexico. Archaeologists have found squash seeds near Oaxaca, Mexico that have been dated to be about 10,000 years old. And on top of being a delicious staple of the Mesoamerican diet, squash is incredibly good for you because it contains vitamins A, K, C, they have lots of fiber, and they're rich in the mineral magnesium, which does a lot of things for your body, but one of the most important things it does is help you reduce and manage stress, which we all need a little bit of help with sometimes. All right, now let's jump into this week's recipe. In your meal kit this week, you have about two pounds of zucchini and squash, six ounces of onions, 10 ounces of corn, six ounces of green chili, 10 ounces of tomato, four ounces of cheddar and jack cheese, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of oregano, and two teaspoons of garlic. And all you're gonna need to make this week's recipe is a good sized pan and a wooden spoon. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat our oil over medium heat until it starts to shimmer. And then we're gonna add in our onions. Now that our oil's warm, we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions. And if your oil sparks too much, you can always turn down the heat. And we're gonna cook these for about five minutes or until the onions are translucent or kinda of see-through. So now that our onions are turning translucent, we're gonna go ahead and add in our zucchini as well as our tomatoes. And we're gonna cook these for about another five minutes until the zucchini is nice and tender. And then use your salt and pepper at home and add a good amount of salt to this as well as pepper. Now that our zucchini is starting to get nice and tender, we're gonna go ahead and add in our green chili and corn, as well as the garlic and oregano. And we're gonna give this all a nice big stir to make sure that all that garlic and oregano gets absolutely everywhere. And then we're gonna cook this for about another five minutes. Now all we have to do before we add our cheese is turn off the heat. Now that our heat's off, all we have to do is add in our cheese. And we're just gonna let that melt before we serve it and eat it. So there are our calabacitas. I hope you all enjoyed this week's recipe. Now when it comes to calabacitas, there are literally hundreds of ways to make them. If your family has a different, even more delicious way to make them, please let me know in the comments because I would personally love to learn some new recipes myself. Thank you so much to our friends at Market on the Move for the produce we use this week. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram at the Tucson Family Food Project. And I'll see you all right back here next week with another delicious recipe. So until then, peace.